My name is Melissa Vogley Woods, and I am a painter and a sculptor and a video artist, and I'm based out of Columbus, Ohio. The philosophy behind my work is really rooted in trying to um, visualize and manifest something that I feel like is a race. I think of like certain populations that have been erased or certain voices that have been erased or certain knowledges that don't um, translate through time um, due to certain power structures. But my work is really abstract. And so when you look at the work, you're not getting that directly, but what you will get is a feeling of disjointedness. When people see my work, I hope that they can't settle on, on what's exactly going. I like that about uh, I like that about the the abstraction. So that is why I like to keep it abstract. If a thing becomes too defined in my work, I have to undermine it with other things. So I like that the viewer comes in and then is just sort of like, "What is going on with this?" And it's the only thing I can see myself doing. And so, thank goodness, I can keep doing it. And so that's like the yeah the ability to like keep working is. For me, like the best. That's, I just want to keep making this stuff. The process of my sculptural work, I use a lot of this um, medium called Skyola, which I went to Italy to research. Um, and it's a, an old, um, plaster process that was developed around the 1700s up in northern Italy. And the process is mixing plaster with pigments and manipulating the consistencies to get the look of marble. I do the inlay process, which is in the show, where you um, make a slab of the scayola with all the different pigments in it. And then you have to carve out of that slab all the areas that are different colors. So the image is basically all of those are carved out. And then you refill those areas with differently colored scayola marble. And then they all fuse together because it crystallizes together. Uh, it's a chemical crystallization that happens. And then you polish the whole thing. So it is really just one big piece. I like how it's like fake marble a lot. And it feels very much like a painting process for me too, like a visceral painting. I'm like holding just basically blobs of pigment and I can really manipulate them and polish them and they draw you in. And um, so, so I'm just really obsessed with this material. So I use it a lot. I look at a lot of uh, modernist women sculptors uh, painters from the Hudson River School, which are all landscapes, like early American landscape artists. I love that work because of its uh, depth and space. So the pieces that are in the show were really inspired by um, this palace in Rome called Domitian Palace. It's a palace that was built um, by Emperor Domitian, who uh, was a little bit of a, you know, extreme ruler. And he insisted on having all of these alcoves built in every room of his palace so he could stand in the alcove and no one could go behind him, but would also project his personal divinity. He wanted to be a god, you know, so he would stand in these alcoves. Well, he ended up getting murdered anyway. 